Welcome, folks. This is the Chaos Doves channel. I'm your host, Chaos. What's cracking? Today, I got another knife review for you. It's going to be a little different than before. All the other knives you've seen me review so far have been uh, Chinese knives. This is going to be a Gerber today. Today, we're going to talk about the Gerber Valaton. <laughs> This is it here, and uh, let me tell you a little bit about this knife. So it's got an interesting way of opening it. It's got dual thumb studs, so it's uh, ambidextrous. And uh, here's how you open and close it. So you got this fancy little little button here that pushes forward, and you hold that forward to close it. So it's kind of like a switchblade, except it's not a switchblade, obviously. Let me just get this out of the way here. close up there so you got this little button and as you see it's up right now that means the knife is live if you go ahead and push that button down you'll see the red goes away which means the knife is no longer live which means it's actually locked you can press on that thumb stud all day and it will not open for you as soon as you press that button forward this thing opens like you wouldn't believe it's uh it's one of the fastest knives I have. Now this is a great everyday carry for a whole bunch of reasons. It's small, so it doesn't attract any major attention, like at all. Um, and it's nice because the handle's plastic, so it's not heavy, but it's very solid. There's zero play in this blade. It's a Gerber, I mean, you know, it's uh, you get what you pay for. It's, it's definitely a better knife than a lot of the Chinese ones, just uh, on your basic quality control and build quality. But uh, it comes with a nice pocket clip, lanyard holder, of course, or a lanyard uh, hole there. So I always throw a, a piece of paracord in there. That way you don't lose it. Um, so the plastic on the outside here, it's kind of interesting. I, uh, I wasn't sure about it at first. I'll tell you about how I got this knife. I ended up placing an order, and uh, when I ordered the cleaver in one of my other videos, uh, I ordered a few knives with it, and because of these stupid laws they're not even laws the borders just uh, deciding to not let in any flip knives basically anymore and because of that um, they weren't able to give me a whole bunch of the knives that I wanted in my order so they wanted to substitute one of them because I canceled a couple of them they wanted to substitute one of them and uh, they were showing me what they had available and I was kind of like eh, you know not really into it not really into it this one was on sale for 20 bucks and the knife that I was supposed to buy was uh, 12 bucks or something like 15 maybe anyways so it was a little bit of a upgrade, if you will. And uh, I saw it on their website, and I was kind of like, eh, it's got a plastic handle. It's pretty small, and I'm not really sure, you know. And uh, But I went with it anyways. I thought maybe, you know, give it give it a try. It's a Gerber. It must be all right. Well, uh, I'll tell you, I got it, and I was super happy with it. It became my everyday carry knife, and uh, I even took it dirt biking with me all the time. And I wear it inside my dirt bike pants, you know, not, uh, not outside, so trying to keep it there so it doesn't uh, fall off or whatever anyway so the one day I ended up losing it on my bike which was a super bummer because it like I said became my favorite knife really quick and uh, when I went to buy another one that same day I found out how much they actually cost uh, they're about you know $70 so uh, yeah I looked around a little bit and I was able to find one for around that price so I picked it up but uh, surprisingly they are not a cheap knife guys it's a great little, uh, great little knife for sure, but after losing it, I just couldn't live without it, so I had to go back and find another one, and with the laws, or laws, whatever, the border doing what they want, it wasn't available on the same website, uh, Hero Outdoors, unfortunately, so I had to go and get one off of another website, which thankfully had them, but they were a lot more than 20 bucks. So, uh, yeah, a little bit about this knife, stainless steel blade. Um, it's got a fine blade, which is really good. Um, it's, it's different. A lot of knives will have a thicker blade, but this one's really, really fine. So it can be sharpened like a razor, basically, uh, which is pretty cool if you ask me. 
2.6 inch blade, so it's a lot smaller than a lot of the other knives I've been showing you, but again, it doesn't attract any attention. It's quite stylish, looks pretty good, easy to carry, doesn't take up really much space in your pocket, and again, doesn't really weigh anything either. Uh, Another thing about this knife that's great is uh, the fact that it has the plastic handle and it has that textured grip on it because even if you're out there and you're in the water and your hand is soaked and the knife is soaked, you still have a whole bunch of grip. Uh, in comparison to one of the other knives that I was showing you guys, it has zero grip. Uh, in the water or basically even out of the water yeah this has a really great textured grip on it and uh, another thing that I wanted to mention is there's no flipper usually a lot of these flip knives have a flipper on the back here but there's none of that there's only thumb studs on this guy which uh, it works great actually just the way it is it's a Gerber Valaton fast and the fast stands for forward action spring technology um, and it just I guess it's whatever the spring that they have in here it sure is fast, man. Like, you can't really beat that. It takes less than a 25th of a second for that blade to come out because I can't see the blade. Whereas all the other knives, I can see the blade. And that's like, you know, 1 25th or, you know, more of a second. But this has to be less because I'll tell you, boom, it's out. Like, you can't even see it. Anyways, so that's my review on the Gerber Valaton Fast. And uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description, if I can still find it, guys, where you can get one for yourself. Um, and hopefully, if you want one, you can still get them. They're getting harder and harder to find, like I said. But uh, again, thanks for tuning in. I'm trying to keep this uh, review a little bit shorter. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest content and see more from me, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down in the bottom there. Catch you next time.